Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Ron Doyle with you on uh, Maryland's Eastern Shore. I got another product review for you uh, that didn't uh, didn't turn out so good. This is a uh, Klein Tools uh, CL110 clamp-on meter. Uh, it has a 400 amp uh, clamp-on capacity. Um, I bought this a uh, couple, uh, probably about three years ago uh and i bought it in a kit this this particular clamp meter came with a, a non-contact test pin and it came with a uh, multimeter um i don't have those with me i'm in a i'm in uh my other service truck and uh, i wanted to do a quick video on this um, i had gotten this out and started using this i, I usually use an amp probe and my amp probe started uh I started seeing some uh, issues uh, pop up with uh, the LCD screen, so I went ahead and bought this as a backup, and I started using it about a year ago. And uh, well, as you can see, it didn't hold up too good. One day I'd got it out of the truck, and I noticed that uh, there was a hairline crack. See if I can put this back together so you all can see it. There was a hairline crack right on this corner that it started. And, uh, you know, of course, you're, you're actually squeezing this button to uh, open this jaw up, which now is not a problem at all. Uh, this plastic is really thin. Um, a little too thin for my liking especially with the uh, the spring it's got pretty good tension behind it uh, for this to work this jaw has to be in its fully closed position such as it is now uh, now this to me is rendered useless because uh, I do a, a residential electrical work and uh, sometimes I'll clamp this onto the uh, main feeds coming in the house after uh, things are turned on or if I have an issue with the main breaker I can use this to to check and see why the main breaker is tripping um, and uh, you know this thing didn't hold up too well like I said started with a hairline crack the other day I went to a service call got it out of the truck and uh, I keep it in this uh, tough built meter pouch um, awesome product. This is a, I love the Tough Belt stuff, as you can see. I got quite a bit of it. Um, but I got it out and uh, the button had fell down in here and I got it out and I really got to look at how it was constructed. I was not impressed at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call Klein Tools and uh, see what they got to say about this. But uh, this was bought from Home Depot in a, in a combo pack, like I said. Um, so it, it actually still functions. It's on right now. It just doesn't function as a clamp meter anymore. Um, so what I might do is uh, fill this up with epoxy and just use it for a digital meter now and not a clamp meter. Uh, it's a shame uh, things happen, but I'll call Klein and uh, see what they got to say about this. If I get a response back from Klein about this tool, I'll go ahead and post it in the uh, comments section below so you all can get an update. I'm doing this video because I didn't see uh, but one video on YouTube about this product bought in a combo kit. And the guy that bought it likes his. Uh, I'm just showing you that uh, this, I don't like this. This isn't... This isn't good, Klein. Um, you need to make this uh, this button a little bit more durable um, to where it's going to hold up for uh, service. I, I expected to get at least five years out of this. My amp probe that I was using before this, I got 15 out of it and never had this issue. Um, the issue I had with the amp probe was uh, the battery leaked and uh, messed up the contacts. And uh, I've got to replace the 9-volt uh, connection point at the bottom, and I'm probably going to start using my uh, amp probe clamp on again and uh, retire this one to the trash can. But uh, hopefully this video was uh, helpful and informative on the Klein CL110 clamp-on meter. Um, buyer's remorse. Uh, I wouldn't buy it. Um, 
you all have uh, anything better to say about this meter, your experiences, hey, please comment, like, share, subscribe. I would love to hear it. Um, you all have a wonderful and blessed day.